morning and welcome back to the farm. The animals argue. The animals are arguing who should be the boss. Pink thinks he's bacon's best. This makes the others cross. Sheep says, my wool is soft. Dog gawks the house and barks, woof woof. Rooster thinks she's clever. She drives away the dog. Cow believes her milk is good. Mmm, a lovely glass of milk. Goat gives special baby food. A little duckling hears the fight and sighs. Oh, I wonder who is right. Okay, don't pretend you never fight. I know you do. Okay, so let's have a look at all the farm animals that we have and some of the animal families that we would have on a farm. We all know the chickens, there's the rooster, there's the hen and there's the chick. Then we know the ducks or the geese, that's the drake, there's the gander, there's the duckling or the gosling. Then up here, that is the bull, the cow and the calf. Over here, there's the goats. For goats, we have a, a ram, a ewe, and a kid. A kid is the baby of the goats. And you know how naughty those goats can be. They eat anything. And over here we have the pigs. And the, for the pigs we have the, the daddy pig. It's called a boar. And there's a mummy pig. It's called a sow. And we've got a baby pig. And that's called a piglet. Right. So first of all, we are just, I just want you to look at the words of all these farm animals. We're going to read them together. Okay, there you see that one is hen. And there we go. This one is the rooster. And that is chick. And here we go, the hen cackles, cackle. The rooster grows, grow. Very good, you are reading nicely. Then we see chicken pen, another word for we chicken stay would be chicken coop. This is the word gosling. Gosling has to do with the babies of the geese. And yes, the word gander. And gander has to do with the male of the geese. And goose, goose is also the female of the family. Then over here you will see the bull. Bull means a male, male of the cattle. There's the word cow. Cow is a word that we use for the mummy of the cattle. Calf. Calf is the word we use for the baby of the cattle. And um, over there we see low, that is the sound that a cow would make, a cow lows, and then we also see, we see um, the cow shed or a barn, that's where they, that, that's where they would overnight, although they go out to graze during the day and they are in camps then. Now we're back to the sheep family. That's the ram. The ram is the daddy. The ewe is the mom or the female. The lamb is the baby, right? And this one is the sound, bleat, a sheep bleats. And there we see they live in a kraal or in a sheep's pen or they sleep in a barn. But of course they would also go out to graze during the day. And here we see this is the pig family. We will more so look at the products of pigs a bit later on in the lesson. Right, so there we see there is the boar. The boar is the what? The daddy. And there is the sow. The sow is the 
mummy pig. There is the piglet that is called that. That is what we call the babies in the pig family. And the sound they make, we would say grunt. I think pigs can also scream. <laughs> and this is the word sty, a pig sty. Although I think it would be interesting for you to know that in on free range pig farms, the, the mummy pig or the, um, the sow, she actually makes a nest before she has the babies, but she doesn't lay eggs. All right, just remember that. Okay, so this is what I found in my cupboard. I've got some bacon. I've got some eggs from chickens. I've got some drumsticks and thighs also from chickens. The bacon would be from the pigs. All right. And I've got some cheese here. And together with the cheese, I also have butter. These two are dairy products. Also some, uh, um, what is this, cottage cheese. That's also another dairy product. And here's some yogurt. And that is also a dairy product. We actually have lots of dairy products. Of course, there's the milk as well. Let me see if I did bring some milk for you to see. Left the milk in the fridge. Okay, so do you think these come from animals? Oh no, they come from trees, right? So there's an avo and an apple and an orange. These are fruits. They grow on trees. They don't come from animals. But let's have a closer look at some of the products of the pig, right? Yes, the products of the pig. Pig has ham. We call the pig's meat, we call it pork. And we have ham. How many of you enjoy a ham sandwich? Isn't that too cool, hey? We've got bacon. <laughs> Eggs and sizzling bacon is some of your favorite breakfast, I know. And then, interesting enough, you get leather from, from pigs. Now, I've got a picture here. Of leather gloves. I'm going to hold it a bit closer so that you can see. There we go. And those are leather gloves from pig's leather. And I'm sure you get leather from pig's leather coats and boots because leather is also a product that we get from cow, from the cows or from the cattle family. So that is very interesting and then you all know pork chops um, that is all part of the red meat family um, the cattle give us red meat the sheep give us red meat the pigs give us red meat but then when we get to chicken and fish that would be white meat that would be considered white meat so there's a little bit more on the product. Also, as a project today, you are going to write for me. You're going to take a regular piece of paper. Um, first of all, you will fold it in half, corner on corner, right? And fold the half in half like that. Okay, and if you would open it, you would have four blocks. Right, so you can actually choose any of the words here, yeah, ham, bacon, chops, or leather. And I want you to write it on, on three of the blocks. You don't have to choose the ones I chose. So you could have ham there, bacon there, and leather there. And then you can, you can draw a picture of it, or maybe draw a picture of it on your plate. All right? But in this block over here, I want you to write something about the products of pigs. So maybe you would like to say, bacon is my best. I love to eat um, bacon and eggs in the mornings. Or my mum packs me a ham sandwich to school. 
Or you might like to say, I don't eat pork because I don't think um, it's good for me or whichever you want to say. But this little block then is reserved for you to write something about the products of pigs. Now, just before you go, remember, a pig is actually a wonderful animal. Um, they, they may be a bit messy, but that is their nature. And they are here for a reason, just like each one of us. I wonder what the pigs would think if they knew that you would use their name to, to scold somebody <laughs> when you're mad at them. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So we're not going to do that. We are going to be um, really cool about it. Um, yes, so let us treat our farm animals with respect. We enjoy their products, but let us make sure that we always remember to respect animals and to love and care for them in a proper way. Bye for now.